Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month. Right out of the gate, right around the second of the month, we are going to have this month's full moon. Now, this full moon will be taking place in a decidedly worldly part of your sky. This part of the sky has to do with long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters. Uh, all of those are very important topics, certainly, but also may feel somewhat limiting generally at a time like this. And yet for you, you are feeling empowered. You are feeling hopeful and you are coming to a new understanding of your truth. On a more personal level, this part of the sky is connected to your understanding of the beliefs and the philosophies that guide your life, that help you to make sense of the world around you. So it is going to be this full moon speaking in harmony with Uranus that does suggest illumination and understanding, but it also suggests authenticity. It suggests freedom. And as you are coming to answers that are uniquely your own, you are feeling especially invigorated and inspired to continue to move forward. Planet Uranus is all about the new beginnings, the next thing, but it is full moons that also represent closures as well. So as it is that you are coming to a depth of understanding as to what you have believed or where you have been literally and figuratively, it is now that you also are gearing up to feel with this fresh perspective, a new chapter. And so for some of you, this energy may play out very literally. Uh, it may be a chance to consider your role within an institute of higher learning, within a legal institution. It may be a moment where a matter that is a legal matter or political matter is coming to a resolution, is coming full circle, is coming to a close in a way that ultimately is fortunate to you, that allows you to feel free of it. It may be at this time that you get good news related to an immigration or citizenship matter. And of course, I know there's not a whole lot of traveling going on, but if it is that you either do get the opportunity to travel or if it is that you hear about future travels, well, this energy is going to ensure that you make the most of that very opportunity and experience. More personally, this is going to give you the opportunity to reset in some way as you redefine your relationship to the world around you. And now whether this is through the introduction of new philosophies and new worldviews, you are left changed for the better. As we navigate later in the month, it will be right around the 17th that we are going to have this month's new moon. This new moon will be taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with the mind communication. It has to do with learning as well and expression. Now, for some, this is going to represent new opportunities. Uh, I'm looking at the fact that this beautiful new moon is speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto and Saturn. And what that suggests is new opportunities to teach, new opportunities to learn, to write, to share. Um, this can be especially spontaneous energy. This is a part of the sky that is connected to synchronicity. And so you may be granted this moment that seems like you are in the right place at the right time, meeting the right person, and it makes all the difference. And yet, regardless, ultimately, this is energy that says, that you are getting more clear as to your unique voice for yourself and for others. You are seeing things differently now. And some of this perception is going to be very literal. And it may be at this time that you're looking at sharing differently also. So whether that is that you decide uh, to do more online or with social media in a different way than you have before, those types of activities can be very blessed. And if it is that you do take on new curiosities, new studies, or new opportunities to actually share what you know, well, it looks like those very opportunities can be especially fruitful and very likely facilitated through someone else that you know. Now, where it comes to matters of love, in the middle of the month, it's Jupiter going direct in your opposite sign. Towards the late part of the month, it's Saturn going direct in your opposite sign. 
All of this energy does suggest that you are moving forward in the context of love in some way. You are having a moment where you are understanding what it means to bring healing energy, but also what it means to be real, to be practical, to be honest with yourself. And from there, making a decision and making a choice. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, well, look, I do think that the fact that both of these powerful planets are going direct, it does suggest new experiences and new people, but also, and perhaps more importantly, you getting powerful insights into where you are in love and why, and the truth of what you feel about it. From there, you'll be able to be more at peace as you go out there connecting with others. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this is going to be very clear as to who this person is, and also perhaps what it is within you that felt drawn to them. A month like this does say it's all or nothing. It is a make or break kind of moment for the cancers out there. And so if it is that you getting to know this person really is the right person for you, that is going to become abundantly clear. And it may be surprising how quickly things start to solidify now. But if it is that this is not the right person for you, that will be abundantly clear as well, along with a brand new direction. And for those of you who are in an established bond, for the very small percentage of you out there who have known that you're not in the right relationship for you, well, it is going to be this energy that makes that that much more abundantly clear. It makes it undeniable for you, along with the willingness and the clarity to move forward. But if it is that you know you're in the right relationship for you and you're very happy there, that's wonderful. It is going to be this energy that helps you to feel like the two of you are able to move forward on the same page. Now, I would also add with this that if it has felt as if there's been an ongoing matter that has to do just with your partner, perhaps something taking place in their lives, or perhaps related to the two of you, it is going to be as these powerful planets go direct that these particular situations will start to feel more and more behind you. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here. In addition to all I mentioned, Mars is going to go retrograde this month as well, right around the ninth of the month. It is a powerful astrological time when so many planets are making such big moves. It does suggest that life is changing. And for you, where it comes to your career and what's worth achieving, you are becoming more reflective, more wise, more effective. That's Mars going retrograde. At the same time, though, we've got happiness and new experiences and new perspectives all around the kinds that bring positive change and joy. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.